is before the Lord. Prophets are more God word. Pastors are more people word. When God designs his pastors, he makes them like a people. This is why you have to be careful how you judge pastors, because they're supposed to look like a certain people. They represent a people. They're a type. There's a pastor in our area. I won't say his name. He's just like Cleveland. Why? He's a product of Cleveland. So many, many, many people look at him and they're offended at his ministry, but they don't understand how God fashioned him. He, he, he's supposed to look like the people. Why? Because he represents them. And so then when the Lord begins to lift him, they're attracted to him. God is speaking to him. He's speaking to the people. He's dealing with him. He's dealing with the people. He's cleaning him. He's cleaning the people. He's sanctifying him. Wallace, he's sanctifying the people. But yet you come along and you want to judge him. Because uh, he doesn't look like what you thought ministry was. Maybe you represent a people too. But you're so busy looking at someone else, you can't discern the people that God is representing you for. This kingdom is vast. It's diverse. There's many levels, many dimensions, many, listen. There's many levels, many dimensions of a ministry, people in different places, people different places of maturity, people different places of understanding, revelation, called in different ways, different cultures. How can we compare anyone? That's why the apostles said, you compare yourself among yourselves. <laughs> and that's all we see now. Yep. That's right. The pastor represents a people. Yes. He looks like them. The ugliness they have, he has that. The issues they have, he has that. The imperfections he has, he has that. The struggles he has, he has that. So God takes the one that has all that, he begins to bring them out. And as they're coming out, it's attracting others like him that he will also bring out. Do you see that? But you're trying to judge it in the process. Come on. That's to be careful. And when you come to places like that, if it doesn't rub you the right way, you just don't belong there. Go find where you belong. But don't judge what don't judge another man's servant. Is somebody hearing me? I look at our generation of ministry and church, and I don't understand why we don't see it that way. Maybe just God just put it in my spirit. I've always seen kingdom like that. I hear all this stuff. And yes, there's stuff out there that's not right. There's stuff out there that has problems. But I'm not paying attention to that stuff anyways. I'm too focused on what God called me to do. I'm too focused on looking at Jesus. I'm too focused on looking at my assignment. I don't got time to...